supporters of PV Sindhu who stayed up uh, till early morning today. It was well worth it because what an exciting match, what a sporting spirit and PV Sindhu has made it to semi-finals in Rio, keeping the hopes of the Indian contingent alive at the Olympics. Uh, she beat world number two, her Chinese counterpart Wang Yan and she is on her way now to the semi-finals. PV Sindhu is just one win away from winning an Olympic medal for India. The first one it seems in the this uh, Rio tournament so far for India. Wang Hian is, uh, was a grueling match against uh, PV Sindhu. She now plays uh, Nozomi Okura of Japan for a place in the final. Take a look. The hope to win a medal is not over yet. When more than half the Indian contingent has left the battleground, one Hyderabad lass has taken the honours on her shoulders to make her presence felt. PV Sindhu has given hope to the nation that till she's in Rio, there is hope. Sindhu stayed calmer and then she was aggressive in the last few points to finish it off. So, all in all, I think uh, great game by Sindhu. I think uh, very good attitude and uh, good to see her uh, perform at the high stage. Sindhu upset the bookmakers and beat world number two Wang Yihan in a tough match in Rio. In a match that lasted 54 minutes, Sindhu came up on top. It's been a perfect campaign for Sindhu so far. She beat Laura Sarosi in her first match. Sindhu did face resistance against Michelle Lee in her second group match. But in the knockout stage, Sindhu found her feet. In the round of 16, she completely dominated world number 8, Tai Zhu Ying. And in the semi-final, she faced world number 2, Wang Yihan and beat her 22-20. 2119. Uh, before that, I just uh, look at her matches or you know mm. how she's playing and what's uh, what's her weak point. Mm. So I just look at it and discuss with my coach and play accordingly. Mm. So that's how I, I play uh, with each opponent because it's it's a different style of play with everybody. Badminton was always one of the sports that promised to deliver. With Saina Nehwal out early, the onus was on Sindhu to deliver. The mission is not over yet as Sindhu still has to win at least one more match against her Japanese opponent in the semi-final. And if that's accomplished, Sindhu can dream of gold. Sports Bureau, India Today. Borea Mazumdar is joining us at this moment. Borea, what an exciting match. How close is PV Sindhu to winning the first medal for Indian contingent at Riona? None of us want to sort of say the, you know, shoot our mouth again because we've done that with Abhina, we've done that with Sanya Rohan. We are just sort of, you know, on the edge, you know, one more and then we will all sort of outburst will happen. But after the match, uh, Sindhu uh, looked very composed. We had a brief chat, in fact, a fairly, fairly detailed chat when she was walking out with Gopi and we were all waiting there. She was very calm. She kept saying one more, one more. She's confident, she's calm. 18th, 9.20 in the morning, entire Indian contingent will be at the Rio Centro 4 to cheer for Shin Sindhu. That you said grueling at the start, it was a brutal encounter. You know, Yihan Wang gave it everything, come back from 18.13, 19.18 lead. And then to close that out takes a lot of guts, takes a lot of heart, takes a lot of passion and determination. Tremendous. Well, Borea, you got the first uh, exclusive uh, glimpse of being there at the match with PV Sindhu. We also have Shivani here, who's followed the match very closely. Also joining us is Tripti, 2006 uh, CWG medalist in badminton. Uh, to talk more about how crucial was this win, Shivani, what were the challenges that PV Sindhu faced uh, in uh, getting uh, this uh, entire game around for her? Well, uh, you know, Yihan Wang is, of course, uh, a former silver medalist at the Olympics. Uh, she's a former world champion. So in terms of pedigree and experience, she's obviously ahead of PV Sindhu. And that's the challenge you face when you face a higher ranked player. Uh, you know, expectations are not with you. The expectations are on the other side. But that can work to your advantage because uh, then you don't have the pressure of being the higher ranked or the higher seed. All the pressure she ensured was on Yihan Wang. Uh, I, Sindhu played a great game 
game, as far as her movement on the court is concerned, as far as the aggression is concerned. Uh, I think more than anything else, we always knew she had the game. She'd beaten Yihang in the past as well. More than anything else, it was uh, essential on just how she steps onto the court. The, the same way that Srikant did it against world number 5 Jurgensen in his last match, Sindhu showed great uh, match presence and also great belief and aggression, Devina, which was extremely important in a match when you're playing against uh, you know, a former world champion. And comparing it to the Denmark match in which she beat Ehan uh, earlier, this mm. one was uh, much more crucial. Tripti is uh, also with us. Tripti, uh, now the pressure is on because now is the big game uh, for PV Sindhu, uh, semi-finals. Uh, as an athlete, uh, what would be the preparation that now PV Sindhu would be going uh, forward with? Uh, what would be the strategy? Because mental uh, strategy is as important as uh, the sp uh, athletic preparation to represent India at such a big platform. Uh, well, uh, firstly, we will have to see um, how uh, Sindhu's fitness is going to be uh, for tomorrow's uh, semi-final match because she's had about three uh, very good matches. So, uh, I mean, uh, when we've spoken to Gopi and he said that she has been uh, fit and she has been working hard uh, before the Olympics, so considering that, uh, also we are hoping that she is fitter for tomorrow's match at the same time. And... Uh, uh, definitely, uh, she should again take it uh, as one match and not think about the medal at all, uh, which she has been doing right from the beginning. Uh, that this is what uh, is going to help her a lot uh, mentally to be on the court. And uh, again, talking about her opponent, um, uh, as we know that she is a rally player. Uh, most of the Japanese are uh, Japanese girls are uh, known for playing a lot of rallies. They run around the court a lot. They will keep on re uh, retrieving. So uh, Sindhu will have to be a lot more patient, ready for uh, long rallies. So, uh, at the same time, she should uh, try and uh, get those uh, quicker points, uh, uh, you know, with uh, a right kind of attack, so uh, which will, uh, you know, save her from uh, getting tired. Yes. Right, uh, Trupti Shivani, this side, uh, also wanted to ask you about the influence that Gopi Chand has had. You know, first with Sayana as her coach and now as the national badminton coach, you've, you know, known him very, very closely and personally. Uh, do you think he will play a big role in how both Kidambi Shrikant and PV Sindhu take on uh, their semi finals? Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, talking about uh, Gopi, hats off uh, to him. He has brought a lot of change in Indian badminton since he's uh, taken over as a chief coach and uh, uh, started off with Saina and uh, uh, Sindhu now, uh, Shrikan and few uh, other players as well. Uh, Gopi knows, uh, uh, since he's been there at that uh, platform, he is well aware uh, what is required and uh, what, uh, you know, uh, what sh uh, Sindhu has to do. He has been following her, uh, you know, in all the tournaments. So uh, he is definitely uh, the right inspiration uh, for uh, Sindhu. All right, uh, Tripti and Shivani both continue to be with us. But Shivani, before we let both of you go now, it is an important information for our viewers as well who are joining us that uh, her parents are celebrated volleyball athletes. Hmm. And she chose to be a badminton player and that too at a very tender age of eight where she started playing hmm. badminton. Uh, sports uh, runs in her blood, one can say, but choosing badminton over volleyball must have been a tough decision for her. That's right. Uh, we can say that volleyball's loss was badminton's gain. And if you look at Sindhu's physique, she's, you know, of, she looks like an athlete. She, you know, looks like a sports person and, you know, her height is a great advantage to her in this sport. Not all players are as tall as she is, so that gives her an advantage as well. And, you know, she's very fit. She's worked extremely hard on her fitness, which runs in her genes, as you're saying. And, you know, that helps her on the court with all these rallies right, that Tripti right. was talking about. So, 5'10", Sindhu uh, breaks it uh, for uh, Indian contingent. Hope the jinx is broken as yeah. well, Shivani. Thanks for joining us.